Hello, this is Dr. Naeem, your favorite OBGYN. Today we're going to talk about something called DVT or deep vein thrombosis during pregnancy. DVT is not a very common complication, but if it happens, it's very uh, risky and could be life-threatening. Uh, deep vein thrombosis means when there is a thrombus or blood clot in the deep veins, usually of the leg. Uh, versus superficial veins. Uh, so if you have somebody has thrombosis in the superficial veins, it's not as dangerous, uh, like phallobitis or anything they can probably see from outside. But if it's done uh, inside, uh, in the deep area, that's very dangerous. The signs usually is swelling or pain of the leg. So if somebody has a swollen leg, uh, you have to have a workup for this, especially only one-sided swelling. Uh, if it's two sides, that means two legs are swollen, the chance of being a DVT is very low. If it's only one side, they need ultrasound and Dopplers to diagnose this problem. Uh, if there's a deep vein thrombosis, patient has to be on anticoagulation, uh, like blood thinners, because this can potentially move and go to the lung and cause uh, embolism, uh, which is the blood clot in the lung, and then cause possibly a mortality or a significant morbidity, that means uh, uh, big complications so they have to be checked for those the thing that cause this pregnancy just being pregnant uh, is called a hypercoagulable state that means you have increased risk of having blood clots uh, things that can cause this if uh, being immobile for a long time uh, if you have a broken leg and you're in cast or just being in bed for a long time uh, can cause this uh, so if somebody's in a hospital, usually uh, they have a leg compressor that helps the blood to flow uh, and there is a decreased chance of having blood clot. Also, uh, being in an airplane, uh, flying, uh, increases the chance of having a DVT because you'll be sitting for a long time. So I tell my patients if they can fly, uh, uh, make sure that uh, every couple of hours they go for a little walk and drink lots of water because just walking makes you to bend uh, your knees uh, and uh, the muscles uh, by contracting, it will push the blood and there is more blood flow. So there's a decreased risk of uh, having a DVT. Uh, so if somebody has a DVT, they have to have a workup done also to make sure there's no other reason uh, for this because certain patients uh, have certain blood uh, markers that increases their risk of having DVT regardless. Uh, if you have those things, uh, it can also cause increased uh, miscarriage. So people have recurrent miscarriages, uh, sometimes have to be worked up for this uh, condition that causes increased uh, chance of blood clot. So where you diagnosed with antiphospholipid syndrome? That's a condition that can be tested by blood tests. And uh, people who have this condition have increased risk of blood clot, increased risk of uh, miscarriage, increased risk of DVT or PE. P stands for pulmonary embolism. That means having blood clot in the lung, which uh, could be fatal.